Hi everyone, it's Sarah, the owner and creator of Multivarious Nature. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are new, um, please feel free to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. If you are a returning viewer, I'm so glad that you're back. And as promised in my last video, I have a special video here for you guys that is specifically about the All of the Lights cardigan from uh, Hoki Locatelli. And I, uh, sorry about that, I had a pop-up on my computer. <laughs> of course. Um, so this is all about the All the Lights cardigan. And it really needed its own video, that's for sure. Um, if for any of you who have not done Hoki's pattern, it's beautiful, it's intricate, it is a work of art, and I do highly recommend it. If you're looking for something to challenge yourself, if you're looking for something that is a learning experience, um, all of that. <laughs> if you're looking for something just to have uh, while you're watching like a movie that you really want to watch and focus on, this is not the project for that, but it is an excellent project for a learning experience, that is for sure. So here she is, <laughs> finished and blocked. The ends are all woven in, and I have a um, little tag in here that I try to put tags in there. It just says with love on it, it's a little metal tag, and yeah. So uh, there's actually another reason why this video is recorded separately as well, not only because it is so involved and intricate that it sure does deserve its own video. But, um, this was actually a commissioned piece, <laughs> and I know I kind of kept that a secret from you guys, and I wasn't trying to be, you know, secretive. Um, however, I do know that the person this, this is actually being purchased for watches my videos, and I just could not risk them finding out about it prior to receiving it. So that's another reason why this video is separate from my current videos. Um, well, now that you guys are seeing it, that person has received this. So it's very important to me that they are the first person to see it versus everybody else. So I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> but here we go. So um, these wonderful pockets, and it's one of those things where it fit perfectly when um, prior to blocking it, but after blocking it, it did open it up, it relaxed it, and it definitely made it an amazing size and fit. So you can see the back is just stunning. You have all of this gorgeous lace work, little bobbles, the um, beautiful cabling, the Aran cabling, and this textured stitch. This textured stitch is all over and then there's also um, like this braiding that goes down the sleeves and the front. So the front has some braiding and cabling and the lace work and it also has, you can see this is quite the feat, it also has that beautiful um, braiding going on right here and I am so pleased with it. I think it turned out amazing. It was a labor of love, as I stated um, and in other videos where I stated that I did have to rip back a few times because I definitely screwed up. And um, yeah, it, it was a feat. But uh, just so you can get an idea of the sizing, I ended up doing, I think it was the medium size, pretty sure it was the medium. Um, just go based on your measurements. But I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like on. So it is nice and long. It goes past my booty, <laughs> which is awesome because this individual I'm making it for really likes layers, um, layering, staying toasty, and this will be perfect for that. It does not have any buttons. It's just a wonderful like blanket cardigan. It's gorgeous. So it has all this wonderful texturing on here and lace work. So it breathes nicely, but it is um, my 100% Peruvian Highland wool base. Take it off here as I keep 
showing it to you guys. But it's the 100% Peruvian Highland Wool Base in my Scarlet colorway. So this is what that looks like. And I did uh, every, um, I alternated skeins. So that way it really evenly distributed that um, kind of tonality of the skein because it's definitely a tonal skein and it's a beautiful red. And then there's the ribbing on the bottom and ribbing on the cuffs. And then there's, I mean, there's just details everywhere in this cardigan. I mean, even across your neckline, there's detailing. That braiding goes across the neck, down your sleeves. So stunning, stunning sweater. It is not mine. I do not get to keep it, but absolutely stunning. And, <laughs> and you might think, well, maybe, sorry, I have another pop-up on my screen. I just need to get rid of it. It's too irritating for words. There we go. <laughs> sorry. Um, I love the sweater. I really do. And I would love to own one myself. However, at least at the moment, I just don't see myself making another one at the moment. It doesn't mean I won't ever do it again. Maybe if I'm in the right mind state to do it, but this one definitely was a process and, um, and a learning curve and an awesome learning experience. I'm grateful that I did it and I know the person that is receiving this will absolutely love it and that's the most important part <laughs> and I um, I do know this individual so I will get to see them and enjoy it from afar and maybe borrow it at some point. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it will be for that individual to enjoy. So I just really wanted to share that with you guys. I definitely wanted to do a shorter video. It's definitely going to be shorter, but I really wanted to promote this pattern because not like Hohi needs any promotion. She is an amazing designer, very well known. Um, if you watch any other knitting podcasts, I'm sure you've heard her name. If you even watch her podcast, she does have her own. Um, I'm, I'm sure that <laughs> you're familiar with her patterns. If you aren't, definitely check them out. Um, I, this is the first that I've done of hers, but it was a well-written pattern, uh, pretty easy to follow. I do remember when I got to the part for the pockets, I got a little, a little confused, but it was probably just the way it was written and my understanding that was confusing. I don't think the pattern would had a problem with it because there were a couple other people that had issues and a couple people that had absolutely no issue understanding that section. So probably just, just me, <laughs> but yeah, I have to say, um, this is my first time really working with my Peruvian Highland wool in a large scale garment. So that was excellent uh, just to really work with it and see how it, how it blooms, how it opens, everything. This blocked beautifully, I have to say. It looked nice before I blocked it, but it looked amazing after I blocked it. It grew just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. I'd say about maybe half an inch, uh, like a quarter of an inch to a half an inch growth. I should have really measured that, I didn't. But um, I'd say about half an inch is the growth rate on it. So it just grew a little bit. And uh, the blocking is amazing because, I mean, the size itself looked fine anyway but you could just see how it just gave it some nice structure. Everything is nice and straight and structured. I'm sure it will relax a little as it's worn, but it just, and it's not crispy. It's so soft. It's just beautiful. And it really, <laughs> my hair on here, sorry. It really just opened them up and you can see all the beautiful stitches. This Proving Highland wool is excellent for stitch definition. As you can see, you just see all the beautiful stitches. So it's amazing for cabling, um, Aaron cabling, which is right here. Oops, on the back, wrong side, Sarah. 
here we go, on the back. But Aaron cabling, you can see the same thing. Awesome texture definition and the texture stitch itself. Amazing. So I definitely am looking forward to working with the Peruvian Highland wool in the future, uh, especially for garments. I would think for mittens it would be amazing. For hats, it is drapey. Like you can see this has a beautiful drape. So it would be excellent for, um, for shawls as well. And I just think it's a very well-rounded base where there are some bases that really lend themselves to just kind of a smaller range of things. I feel like the Peruvian Highland wool would be excellent for pretty much anything. Um, I haven't made socks with it yet. I do want to try doing that. This is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. So I just don't know when it comes to like your heels and everything, how that would go. So I do need to test that out. But when it comes to um, like sweaters, uh, shawls, mittens, hats, things of that nature, I think this would be excellent. Cowls, that would be really pretty, really good for that too. So yeah, excellent, excellent base. So that, my friends, <laughs> is the finished All Lights cardigan. I'll of course include a link below to uh, Hokey's pattern. I got it on Ravelry, that's where I get most of my patterns. And um, yeah, check it out if you're, if you are in the mood for a challenge or you're just curious, I do recommend just checking it out, looking at other projects and seeing what other people have done. Amazing. Now this is, again, this is fingering weight. I would say it's kind of a, a fluffy fingering, but this is fingering weight. And um, I think it may have called for, um, actually, you know what? I have the pattern right here. I'll tell you <laughs> what it called for without giving too much away. Um, let's see here. Bear with me just a moment. So yeah, DK, I thought so. So it calls for DK yarn, which is um, a bit thicker than fingering if you're not familiar with it. So I did actually change my needle size so I could get gauge. But that's very important just so your sweater is going to fit. <laughs> you want to make sure it's going to fit. So I did do a gauge swatch um, and my gauge swatches are terrible. They're not legitimate gauge swatches, you guys. I. I just trust when I do a couple rows instead of like the recommended gauging that it'll be okay and I've been pretty consistent so that works for me um, but I definitely recommend gauge swatching especially with something this intricate I mean it would be a disaster to get through this whole wonderful project that was very very involved <laughs> and have it not fit uh, now if you're okay with it being really big that's one thing but if it's too small that's it's an entirely different story and you can't wear it after all that. Uh, I just cringe thinking about it. The really good part, this is a top-down item, so you can try it on as you are working on it, which I definitely did as well. So highly recommend her pattern. Five out of five stars. <laughs> Excellent pattern. And um, yeah, I did pay for that pattern, so I can't give you too much details, but highly recommend it. All right, guys, that's my short little, little uh, video here, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care.